my friends. Happy Tuesday. Today I have a book called I Love My Glamma by Samantha Berger. Glamas don't just come over. They make a grand entrance. Glamas don't just celebrate holidays. They celebrate everything. Glamas don't just carry a purse. They carry a treasure chest. Glamas ask, why just get dressed when you can make a statement? And then they do. Some glamas stroll and some glamas roll. Some glamas siesta and some glamas fiesta. Some glamas rock and some glamas rock out. If you give a glamma yarn, she could knit a scarf or she could knit a black belt. If you get a glamma a blanket, she might make a reading fort or she might turn it into a super cape. If you take a glamour on vacation, she might build a world-class sandcastle. Or she might go diving with dolphins. Possibly both. Glamas don't follow recipes. They follow their instincts and let you follow yours. Glamas don't just sing bedtime songs. They lead the whole choir and let you sing the big solo. Glamas don't just throw parties. They host the event of the season and make you the guest of honor. But what is it that really makes a glamour so glamorous? You, because you're the one who made her a glamour in the first place. And nothing is more glamorous than that. The end. Did you know that I am a grandma? I have a grandbaby named Lily, and I told her that she can call me glamma. What do you call your grandma? Do you call her Nana or Grandma or Kiki? What is your name for your grandma? Uh, tell me some things that you do with your grandma. Maybe talk about it with your family. Ask your mom and your dad about their grandmas. Have fun talking about it. They're special people. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you all the time, no matter what. Bye.